At an informal meeting in Slovenia, health ministers spoke about building a resilient health union. They discussed important topics for European health systems and took note of the current state of the pandemic and aspects of vaccination presented by the European Commission. Leading the debate on building a resilient health union is one of the priorities for the Slovenian presidency. The pandemic has shown the vulnerability of our health systems, so the ministers agreed that action should be taken now and cooperation between member states should be strengthened, especially in increasing the availability of medicines, said Minister Janis Pokluka, and um, he was contributing to the preparation of EU Council conclusions that were to be discussed at the December Employment Social Policy Health Minister. Uh, no, there's a Social Policy Health and Consumer Affairs Council. My God. Ministers agreed on the need to ensure better EU autonomy in the field of medicines, in particular by improving production capacities for medicines within the EU. The pandemic has revealed a high level of risk if we are too dependent on markets outside the EU. The Slovenian presidency supported the proposals um, regarding the need for enhanced cooperation between countries, increased financial investment in health and support for the implementation of innovative solutions for resilient health systems. Among the highlighted proposals, the most supported were ways to better absorb EU funding for health investments and to identify examples of good practice in effective health systems that could be introduced in other member states. The member states have confirmed the Slovenian presidency's effort to make progress on the legislative troika and want the European Parliament to adopt the documents as soon as possible. They also discussed the HERA proposal, which member states agreed um, and to, to be a body to respond to all health threats. In the last part of the session, the ministers discussed the current state of the pandemic, the achievements of cooperation and further joint steps for a safe autumn. These include continuing activities to vaccinate Europe, as well as following recommendations and implementing um, pandemic containment measures. They pointed out, for example, good practices, a digital um, certificate, that allows citizens to travel easily within the EU. And in the discussion, Minister Pokluka emphasized the provision of vaccines, that means a broad vaccination strategy and compliance with all other preventive measures, such as wearing a mask and regular testing, have borne fruit. A large proportion of those vaccinated at European level have contributed to calming the epidemic situation. Europe exceeds the total vaccination coverage of the adult population by more than 70%. On the other hand, misinformation and hesitation remain in the decision to vaccinate against COVID, the minister added. European Commissioner for Health and Food Safety, Stella Kyriakides, briefed ministers on progress in COVID-19 vaccination. She said, our joint vaccination strategy has proved to be a tangible success and the vaccination rate is increasing across the EU. But in some member states, vaccination rates are still worryingly low. We must do everything we can to ensure that this does not turn into a pandemic of the unvaccinated, either in the EU or around the world. Today, I called on health ministers not to leave the rest of the world and fulfill their global commitments. If we do not vaccinate the rest of the world, we are not safe. The success of the EU's vaccine strategy has shown the importance of EU cooperation and solidarity in responding to cross-border health threats. This is the plan and model we are following and working together to build a strong European health union. The European Commissioner presented the situation regarding vaccination and uh, the common goals that we must set ourselves in the light of European solidarity in order to achieve vaccination at the global level. The meeting took place in a hybrid form, with the ministers of health of the Czech Republic, Germany, France and Sweden sitting in Bro, and the remaining ministers uh, participating via 
video call as usual. In addition to the European Commissioner, the meeting was also attended by Hans P. Kluge. He is the WHO Regional Director for Europe and Emma Cook, Director of the European Medicines Agency, the EMA, and Andrea Ammon, European Center for um, Disease Control. And I'll see you in my next video. Bis gleich.